Hey everybody, Dr. Rob here. Facebook Live, COVID-19 part two, or day two, if you will. Feel free to ask questions and let's flatten the curve together. So, a lot of feedback from yesterday, as, uh, Facebook Live. Thank you so much. A lot of shares. Let's grow. Let's share this message. We are all in it together. A um, couple of quick questions that people asked yesterday before I go with the news of the day. Number one, funny, washing your hands. People said you said to wash your hands. Well, um, I called a friend of mine who's a surgeon. Nobody knows how to wash his hands better than my buddy. And what did he do? He said, you just don't do this. You actually scrub it, hot water once again with soap, but you take your fingers and you get in your palm and you move it like this and you open up your thumb. So you really want to wash your hands with that hot water for 20 to 30 seconds. Some other questions about the social distancing and everything. It really is approximately six feet. And the reason is that the virus, this virus, which is so virulent, and you'll hear me use that word a lot, lasts in the air for three hours, as we spoke about yesterday. Um, some of the other things uh, people were talking about were surfaces, cleaning the surface. Yes, what you want to do is you just don't want to wet the surface down. You actually want to take a concentrated spray, spray it, let it lay there for five to ten seconds so it seeps into the air, and then go to work putting a little elbow grease in there. Now, those were some of the things that people asked if I could review, surprising. I'm also going to talk about um, some supplementation. I'm also going to cover the cytokine storm. So if you have any questions, I've got someone right there. They'll let me know if you have any questions. I will answer them as we go. And I do appreciate all the questions that you asked after. So here, let's have some good news. Um, so much information, I'm actually using notes. The NIH had a clinical trial for an investigative vaccine. Uh, already for COVID-19, fantastic. It was with healthy people. Uh, a phase one trial means that they wanna see if the drug is damaging or deleterious. So they check the drug safety before they go to phase two. It, with that being said, they've already started it. Um, it's a very unique approach. It uses what we call messenger RNA to produce a disease specific antigen in the body so it's recognized by the immune system and this will prepare the immune system for the onslaught of the disease. So essentially what they're doing is they're trying to inject healthy people with it without giving it to them and they're hoping your body produces antibodies like we do to the seasonal flu and then they can extract that and make a vaccine. So step one is in place. It's going to take some time. Still the best choice is to follow what we talked about yesterday. Please follow those instructions about the social distancing, washing your hands and your like. Um, some other things I wanted to give to, um, in reference to everyday things, some immune boosting things. I want you to alkalize your body. We talked yesterday about DNA and GPS. Um, DNA, no dairy, no nicotine, no artificial sweeteners. G GPS, no gluten, no processed food, no sugar. Sugar and processed food tend to make your body more acidic. All damaging things live in acid. They love it. So we want to alkalize it. We want to raise your pH over seven. So clearly good filtered water would be it. Some of the other ways to alkalize your body, eat a lot of whole plant foods, five to eight cups to alkalize. And here's a big one for you, bone broth. We know bone broth is really popular and a lot of people now are home so they have time to home cook. Use a bone broth. Make that collagen. One, it's warm. Viruses don't like the warm temperature. Two, it's very alkalizing. And three, bone broth is extraordinarily healthy and supportive of your gut. As we all know, 80% of your immune cells are in your gut. And this is lost in our conversation about immune. And I just, every day I will tell you, I will reiterate to everyone, got to take care of your gut. Some other products are um, nutrients that a lot of people talk about are 1, 3, 1, 6 beta-glucans. The research has shown that these compounds are fabulous because they help upregulate the function of the innate immune system. Your innate immune system is your initial immune system that holds off the threat of bacteria, fungi, and vi viruses. The problem is that once we get past our innate and we get to our adaptive, that's when we have some more issues. So we want our innate, which is our initial first defense. And um, the only time I suggest not to take the 1,613 beta glycans is if you already have an autoimmune disease. They're a great choice. In addition, 
mushrooms extracts. Cook with them. You can cook with these great health promoting mushroom extracts. Every day I have some shiitake mushroom soup, fabulous. Uh, the mushrooms or the extracts that we recommend are reishi, uh, shiitake, as we said, turkey tail, cordyceps, and Ganoderma, Ganoderma Plus. What a great choice. So any way you can get that, any product that you need that can get that, they're tremendously immune supporting. Zinc citrate, it is the form of zinc that actually supports your central nervous system and shown to help with immune function. Now, a couple of the things that we talked about yesterday, I want to go into more detail. Furine enzymes or furine receptors. I mentioned it yesterday. I never knew in, in the functional medicine world that I live in, we do not talk about furine receptors and furine being on the cell surface. This particular virus, COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2, is shown to actually cleave with the furine. It cleaves with the furine so that it actually sticks to all the different cell surfaces. Now, unfortunately, when it sticks to all these different cell surfaces, it enables you to get attacked, attacked in the idea of multiple tissues and organs. Target tissues and organs can get attacked all at the same time. And that's why this is such a ruinous to your overall health. This virus is that virulent. It also activates, and I'm not trying to get too technical, something called the NLRP3 inflammasome pathway. Now that's something that we talked a lot about. That inflammasomes release something called cytokines. They release interleukin-1 and interleukin-18. That inflammasome, when stimulated, puts you on a pro-inflammatory path, which is so damaging. Now, those interleukins coming from the cytokines, that's the cytokine storm. It's coming from the NLRP3 inflammasome pathway. So once that pathway is stimulated, we're down on, as I said earlier, a ruinous path. Interesting, that pathway is stimulated from poor gut health once again. So now that I mentioned it, how does that actually work? What's going on? Well, we have something in our body called acute respiratory distress and acute lung injury. This is most common in COVID-19. The accumulation of these neutrophils and inflammasomes is what's damaging our lungs. Now, as we talked about yesterday, interestingly enough, this particular virulent virus has spikes that goes in the lung. They spike to the lung, and that is coming from these inflammasomes and the concept that the virus has mutated multiple times. Now, what can you do and how can you avoid all this damage? Well, number one, if you want to quelch the NLRP3 inflammasome, the number one thing you could do to block it is, believe it or not, omega-3 fatty acids. In addition to that, something called ketone bodies. No, you do not have to necessarily go on a ketogenic diet. You can produce through, believe it or not, intermittent fasting, time-restrictive eating. You can produce what we call ketone bodies. The big winner is beta-hydroxybutyrate, or you can take it exogenously. So right now, I'm spot on with my intermittent fasting and time-restrictive eating. So I'm only eating in an eight to 10 hour window so I can produce these bodies to knock down my inflammatory markers and hope that I don't get this uh, damaging disease. In addition to that, and one of the biggest takeaways is melatonin. They found out that nobody under nine to date has gotten COVID-19 because these young kids have 10 times the amount of melatonin that we do as adults. So with that being said, the older we get, the more melatonin we need. The older we get, the less melatonin we have. So melatonin would be a great choice to knock down the NLRP3 inflammasome pathway. In addition, um, also did a little research and found ascorbic acid, which comes from vitamin C, is also uh, something that's highly recommended. And one more thing, of course, you have your D3-5000. So that's an overview of what today brings. Tomorrow, I'm going to share seven to 10 different things that you can take 
to help you with some immune support. And now you really heard about the cytokine storm, which is fascinating. That cytokine storm is what's really overtaking your lungs. I think we have some questions. Okay, so um, one of the questions somebody emailed in was cytokine storm. What can I specifically do? Tell me, Dr. Rob. So let me give you three easy things because I like to do everything in threes. Number one, I would recommend eat whole foods. Once again, eat your foods that are whole. Don't eat any processed food. Try to get it organic if you can. Number two, to keep the storm down, any kind of turmeric. So you can take it in a supplement. You can eat it. We all know it's that colorful um, ingredient that many people eat. I believe a lot of turmeric. Also, to keep the cytokine storm down, um, you would also adhere to what we talked about in the NLRP3 inflammasome. 